welcome to this video. My name is Mike Christian from Vetvis Consultants. This video is about the manual confirmation of pregnancy in cattle. Local regulations vary according to region, so this video should be used in conjunction with an approved training course. The video consists of um, four sections, three videos, so please feel free to stop, rewind, and actually go back to pits that you want to reset. The first part of the video is looking at slaughterhouse specimens. The second part of the video is looking at a model cow. The third and the fourth part are looking at firstly the non-pregnant structures in the live cow and then looking lastly at the pregnant structures in the cow. The manual confirmation of pregnancy is usually done by an AI service provider or by a veterinary surgeon. It is done two to three months after AI or after a cow has been with a bull. This enables the uh, operator to feel the structures and make a decision. Ultrasound examination is the best way for confirming pregnancy. While an ultrasound rectal probe provides early confirmation of pregnancy, the costs and the availability of the equipment may limit its use. The requirements to conduct a rectal pregnancy confirmation are a long sleeve AI glove, lubricants, and a pen and a notebook to record the results. You also require a crush or ropes to restrain the cow. There are always three outcomes to a pregnancy examination. The cow may be pregnant, or the cow may be not pregnant, or the third option is you are not sure. So therefore, do not be afraid to come back two or three weeks later to confirm that pregnancy. Manual rectal confirmation of pregnancy is a task that is quite easily mastered, but it does require a lot of practice. Firstly, to identify the non-pregnant structures, the cervix, the non-pregnant uterine horns, and the ovaries. But then it also requires practice with the model cow or with live cows that are pregnant to identify the pregnant structures. The procedure of rectal confirmation of pregnancy is to insert a gloved left arm into the rectum. Then sweep the edge of the pelvic brim to see if the uterus is hanging down beyond your ridge. The next step is to identify the cervix. Then identify and palpate both horns of the uterus. It may be necessary to pull the uterus back into the pelvis in order to palpate both horns of the uterus. In learning this technique, it is important to be confident to identify these non-pregnant structures in slaughterhouse samples before moving on to the live cow and then the pregnant structures. We are going to start then with the non-pregnant slaughterhouse samples. These should be examined using gloved hands to simulate the pregnancy confirmation. Students need to identify by visualization and then by feeling the main structure. The cervix is made of cartilage and feels firm to the touch. It is always the first structure to identify. The non-pregnant uterine horns are softer, usually similar sized, finger shaped with the ovaries tucked in behind them. When the students are confident about handling and identifying the different structures, they should each approach from the vagina end, identify the cervix, feel along the horns of the uterus and then cup the uterine horns in the hand and then move the hand around the uterus and ovaries. This should be repeated several times until they're confident. Once they're confident, the slaughterhouse sample should be placed in a black plastic sack and the students are to repeat the exercise without being able to see. They should be able to manipulate the sample to line up the cervix, the uterine horns and examine as before. Again, this should be repeated several times. The next stage is to move on to a simple model cow by using a bucket turned on its side with the bottom removed. This is to act as a pelvis. The first stage is to add a marker to represent the pubic symphysis, which is a lump that can be felt on the brim of the pelvis. The model should then be taped to a board in order to give it some sort of stability. Next, the iliac arteries can be added to the walls of the bucket, mimicked using tape and tubing. 
These are important to identify when you come to cows that are further in calf and you are trying to feel for the uterine middle arteries. The slaughterhouse sample can be placed in the bucket and the vagina tied to the board at the edge of the bucket and a plastic sheet or bag to cover the back end of the cow which can then have a hole added. The procedure of rectal confirmation of pregnancy is to insert a gloved left arm into the rectum, sweep the edge of the pelvic brim, identify the cervix, if necessary pull the uterus into the pelvis and palpate the uterine horns. Each student should repeat it again several times. As slaughterhouse early pregnancy samples are difficult to obtain, a model eight week pregnant uterus can be fabricated and put in place. If long balloons are filled with water and tied off, they can then represent the uterine horns. The long balloons can be filled with water to represent the eight week pregnant uterus. The balloons can be tied together with repeated corded knots to represent the firm cervix. The student should then examine the model pregnant uterus. The student should take turns using the model, swapping around slaughterhouse samples and the model pregnant uterus. When students are confident with the models and the slaughterhouse samples, we can then move on to non-pregnant live cows. The cows must be safely restrained to prevent injury to themselves or the operators. Examination of the cows in estrus when there is a lot of uterine tone is easiest for those new to the technique. If there are a lot of faeces present in the rectum or the cow is on a high fibre diet with dry bulky faeces, it may be necessary to empty the rectum before examination. It is important to be confident in identifying non-pregnant structures before trying to identify the pregnant ones. The pulse of the iliac artery should be identified in either side of the pelvis in the non-pregnant animal so as to differentiate it from the middle uterine artery in the pregnant cow. When students are confident with non-pregnant cows, then we can move on to pregnant cows. Manual rectal pregnancy confirmation as a task can be mastered quite easily but does require practice so the operator can identify the cervix, the pregnant uterus and the non-pregnant uterus. If the uterine horns are fluid filled, they are about two months pregnant. You can see from this chart the sizes of the uterine horns at different stages. You can see the cotyledons are beginning to develop at day 55, but cannot yet be felt. If the cervix cannot be pulled back into the pelvis, then the cow may be more than 10 weeks pregnant. This is an image of a 77 day old fetus. If you follow the cervix down and move your hand up and down and you feel a calf, then the cow is pregnant. The cotyledons can be felt from about 12 weeks and here is an image of the conceptus at 12 weeks. Again, using piping and tape, the middle uterine arteries can be added to either side of the enlarged uterus model. This is so that students can get an idea of where to feel for the middle uterine artery. Feeling for the uterine arteries either side of the cervix, if you can feel a pulse in the uterine artery which is movable, then the cow is at least three months pregnant. It changes in its feel to frematus, the Latin for raw, as the fetus develops. Once you can feel frematus, the cow is five months plus pregnant. Do not confuse it with the iliac artery, which is not movable. If you cannot feel any of these things, or you cannot retract the uterus, or you're not sure what you're feeling, then you should go and see professional veterinary advice. There may be other reasons why the uterus is not retracting. Also, always remember there are three outcomes for a pregnancy confirmation. Yes, no, I'll come back and check it again in three weeks time. Hopefully, um, as students master the technique and as you get practiced in it, then the number of don't knows will actually reduce over time as you become confident in what you're feeling inside the cow. I hope that this video has been useful um, and that you'll be able to confirm that your cows that you're seeing are in calf.
Thank you very much for listening. I, I hope it's been of use to you. Thank you.